Looks like Dr. Phil is doing another episode on cancel culture. People jump at the chance to pull out their camera, take a video, and post it online. Everyone better stop yelling at me right now. You hit me with your car? He featured one of the videos that I actually happened to cover. So let's see how this goes. A woman who says she had no choice but to post a now viral video online because she needed help identifying a man she claims kicked her five pound chihuahua on the streets of New York City. When it comes to recording the actions of strangers in public and posting it online, many say it's all about accountability. We sure do. Off to a good start. Keep going. Now, my next guest, Jen, says she doesn't regret posting a video that has now been viewed over 10 million times because she needed that accountability. My dog, Knox, he's the sweetest little chihuahua. We were just on a casual walk, and then a man who was on his phone was walking, acting a little erratic. So I said, hey, watch out. You're about to step on my dog. He pivots to go the direction that we're going, and then punts Knox like a soccer ball. I grabbed Knox, and I ran down the street after him to get video of him. You kicked him as hard as you could because you were having a bad day. I see you guys blurred his face. I'm going to go ahead and put that right back in. I just want the internet to know that. This guy is a piece of I post the video to identify the guy, and the internet identified him in under two hours. There was CCTV footage. That still wasn't really enough to file charges. It wasn't until a reporter called them that I started getting calls from detectives saying that they were working on a case. I believe he's facing a small misdemeanor that doesn't go on his record, and Knox could have died. Good job. You're not a fan of cancel culture. After this experience, I've sort of made an exception for violence, especially against children and animals. And this wasn't a matter of just somebody being rude. They attacked your dog. Right. They assaulted my dog, like, out of nowhere. And he has an attorney that has denied that this happened. The video of him kicking your dog. <laughs> I mean, isn't that him kicking your dog? Yeah, and even further, he made a false police report that I attacked him first, and that somehow that justified him kicking Knox. But he didn't know there was surveillance footage when he made that report. I didn't even know at that point. Let's see if Knox is still in one piece. Yeah, my yeah. baby. This is Knox. Hey, Knox. <laughs> now, I have two white dogs. They're a little bigger than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he could have been killed. I think that's the part that, like, still gives me so much anxiety, is I just keep thinking, like, how badly, like, he could have been taken from me. Yeah, and I think this is a situation where, you know, surveillance cameras and video cameras actually help. You know, when somebody's committing a crime. Absolutely. That? And when a crime is committed, thank goodness you had this. Great answers, Jen. Look, she got Dr. Phil to change his mind on the whole topic of the show. <laughs> and the lawyer he brought on, too. Uh, see, this is the second time Dr. Phil has covered one of the videos that I've featured. And the second time, he's gotten the same answer. I mean... Jasmine went on last time and said the same exact thing. Jasmine says she hit record when confronted by an angry woman at a restaurant. She says she posted it online as a way to seek justice and force accountability. Posted the video as a way to get justice yes. because there were no charges at first or... Because I had no peace. She was assaulted at a bar and there were no consequences for the aggressor at all. She needed help because the police were not doing anything there are a lot of people in this country who have needed the police and the police failed them and that's why they lost confidence in them i myself lost confidence in the police when i needed them to deal with my stalker and for two years they didn't do anything i had to do all of it myself and that's plainly not cancel culture. Uh, we don't do cancel culture here. It looks like we're all really on the same page. That's why I have followers who are Democrat, conservative, and everything in between as well. Because at the end of the day, we all want accountability. The people who call it cancel culture are the people who don't want to be held accountable. 
Dr. Phil, this sounds strange to say, but thank you for covering that and thank you for validating her because she was absolutely right to post that. The police were not going to do anything, even though he was caught on camera kicking a dog and made a false police report about it. Cool. Looks like we're on the same side with this one. And honestly, I think if people actually watch my content before labeling it as cancel culture, uh, they would agree with a lot of what I'm posting as well. No notes. Great job, Jen. And uh, great job, Knox.